Hey everyone, I'm going to be discussing seven ways that Batman could beat Superman. Okay, first of all, Kryptonite. Duh. Next up, we have the supervillain Parasite. His ability is to suck out Superman's powers by uh, touching his skin. Now, Batman doesn't have this ability, and it doesn't really count if he just gets Parasite to do it. But he could possibly capture Parasite and find a way to imitate his ability. Uh, using innovation, possibly removing a bit of tissue from Parasite, he might be able to create some kind of weapon that could remove Superman's powers so that Super Batman could be uh, could defeat him. All right, next up we have electricity. Superman is vulnerable to electricity, um, as we see many times. He, he fights electric villains quite a bit. He gets struck by lightning occasionally. So this would actually work pretty well against Superman because when you run an electric current through muscle, it makes it contract with full force. Now this would work for all of the muscles in Superman's body, including his heart and lungs. And when a muscle contracts with full force, it damages itself. So Superman's heart contracting at full force would actually be tearing his own heart tissue um, with the extreme force. Um, same thing would go for his lungs um, and every other muscle in his body. So even a small electric shock, one that wasn't as strong as a lightning bolt, would still cause his muscles to, um, z to maximize their tension and damage his own tissue. So that could be a possible way to kill Superman with electricity. Uh, next up, number four, we have anesthetic gas and a lead box. So, Batman could easily figure out Superman's secret identity, uh, track him into his apartment, and then when he watches with some kind of thermal binoculars, he sees Superman go to sleep. He could just uh, sneak inside his uh, his apartment in Metropolis, spray anesthetic gas in his face so he stays asleep, then put him in a lead box until eventually the lack of sunlight takes away his superpowers. And then he would be mortal and Batman could finish him off. Uh, next up we have neurotoxins. These can be absorbed through people's skin, so it's uh, it's very plausible that Superman would be vulnerable to them. Uh, and what they do is they don't actually physically destroy anything. They don't break any bonds between molecules. They actually bind it to the nervous receptors so that signals cannot be sent between nerves and to muscles. So the way this would work in Superman, ideally, would be if it blocked the signals going between his brain cells and from his brain cells to his spine cells and spine cells to muscle cells. Meaning that this thing would essentially cause him brain death, total paralysis, um, blindness, hearing loss, everything basically. His entire body would be shut down. Now his heart might still be beating uh, because it's uh, triggered by a small uh, bit of tissue on the heart which isn't exactly nervous tissue. Uh, so that's and this often gets damaged and requires pacemakers, but this might uh, still be beating, so his heart might be beating, so he'd still legally be alive, and uh, with his superpowers absorbed from the sun, um, I don't think there's any way to actually um, cause cellular death. I don't think he depends on oxygen, uh, but his lungs would be destroyed and he would be completely brain dead, so it's as close to dead as you need to be, really. Next up, we have old biological material. This one is a confusing one. Um, Superman has indestructibility. Uh, but a common question raised is, how is his hair not really long, right? Because how can Superman cut his own hair? Especially the hair at the back of his head, how can he keep it short? Like, he can't use his own heat vision on the back of his head, unless he somehow got up a series of mirrors. But that's probably disproven, because it always seems like when he uses heat vision, it's not just heat he's emitting, it's also uh, a bit of force, too. He knocks things backwards when he hits him with heat vision. So we could probably assume that his um, his hair and his fingernails get weaker when they grow out, after a while, um, so when it's a couple inches from his head, it's been off, uh, it's been dead material for about a month. So we could assume that it weakens over time. But if it was like kind of relatively fresh fingernail material, um, that might be able to be fashioned into some kind of bullet, which could pierce his skin, and then people could uh, inject some kind of poison into the small cut on him. So uh, shoot him with a special bullet developed from his own tissue, and then uh, use the scratch to splash some kind of poison in there and then Superman would ideally uh, die from that. And next up we have telepathy, number seven, the last one. Um, so this is an interesting one because although Batman doesn't have it, there are a lot of organisms, especially in space, that do have it. So Batman might be able to find some of those and be able to imitate or modify their abilities so that he could make a weapon um, that could possibly influence Superman. And Batman doesn't have any superpowers, um, so if we're sticking with that, then he would have to find a weapon to do it. Uh, although there's a chance he could possibly perform some kind of radical surgery on himself to give himself the ability to defeat Superman with telepathy. So those are the ways that I think Superman could be killed, I think they are the most logical ways, so thank you all so much for watching. 3,000 people a year die because they cannot find a matching donor for bone marrow.
look at the links in the description to see if you could possibly be eligible to save another person's life. I'm not going to kill you, but I want you to do me a favor. I want you to tell all your friends about me.